We hear from so many of you that love 100 Hunting Street. I want to encourage you to watch us every day. You say, well, how can I do that if I'm not home when the show is on various channels? Well, all you need to do is to set your PVR there at your home, and you just simply can watch us when you can conveniently. You can also go online to 100huntley.com. Every single day we have amazing stories about life change that Jesus Christ brings, practical resources to help you on the faith journey. It's quite the sight, quite the program, and to God be the glory. And we have a new captain here for 100 Huntley Street. I'm joined by our new Chief Executive Officer, Lorna Duick. Welcome to this platform, one that you know quite well. <laughs> I, I'm kind of pinching myself. When you describe it as captain, I guess that's what we're going we're gonna to get on board. Well, well, Lorna, it's a great ship. It's a great ship and, and filled with an incredible crew, if I can continue with my analogy, with a great crew of people who are passionate about sharing Christ. And, 120 you know, of you and 100 volunteers. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's an amazing operation. And uh, we thank God for our founder, David Maines, whom uh, we'll talk about uh, even more during this show. And but let, let's <laughs> he talk was with the you. first guy yeah, I went yeah. to go visit when, uh, when I decided this is really what I want to do. Yeah. I went to go see David and Norma Jean. And I know they were thrilled. <laughs> I know they were thrilled. And, and I had a wonderful we'll dinner with them. And uh, I, I think uh, in weeks coming, I'm going to get a chance to interview David. Let's talk a little bit about how this all got going. You, you, you came. I think we've got some footage here. And I'm <gasps> sorry. They did this to me, too. But I think <laughs> oh, this, no, we're this, not going look back, this, are this are is we? what, 1994? Oh, my goodness. That uh, is my first day of work. Yeah, Dean when, Jones, Cal oh, Bombay. What in the world are they doing? I am hypoallergenic to sunflower. Our seeds. What a great so way to welcome you. So bring one right on the set Absolutely. the first day and yeah. came from Cal's garden yeah. and hang it over the girl who has the allergy to sunflower seeds <laughs> live on national television. And then you had what a Friday version of Huntley called Listen Up. Is yeah, that right? Listen to the World, Look Up because I always wanted to do news and current events and David just thought put that all in one segment called Listen Up. Okay. And um, then yeah. we fast forward you were hosting for years here and then you would come back from time to time. On and that life. grew into this other show, Context with Lorna Duick. And it was an amazing opportunity yeah. to uh, just start to look at news and current events through God's heart for the world. Well, you have uh, done such great work. You headquartered your ministry, your organization in the CBC building in downtown Toronto. Media Voice Generation. Yeah. And that's going to be part of just discovering how do we work together now as two great organizations. So Context itself, you, you, you love news. I think David Maines discovered that about you when, when you came and really gave you a platform to develop news that was in its infancy here in All Things Yes TV and All Things Crossroads. And, and, uh, and so through these last uh, 14, 15 years, it's been about learning where does the character of God intersect with the issues that you and Maggie just talked in off the top of the uh, top of the program. I want to talk more about the the, the purpose of Huntley and, and, and the importance of Huntley in Canadian and global culture today for Christ followers. And but but can do we have something for context? Let's let's get a flavor of you in action. I think this is, is this about some refugees? You know, one of the biggest crises in the globe is that there are 65 million people looking for a home. So this is a little snapshot of how we address okay. that at Context. Here, here, here's Context with Lorna. Context connected a Syrian refugee family with a Canadian sponsor to give them a new life in Canada. You had over 200 bombs drop over your home. How does peace feel now in Canada? Just we feel like home because from uh, the first moment we arrived, there is, uh, there is your family. But here in Jordan, the majority of Syrian refugees are actually living in host communities like here in Zarqa. The UN says that two thirds of Syrians living like this are actually in poverty. Powerful stories of human resilience and the capacity for compassion. And you have this ability to combine news from a biblical worldview current events that are pressing and you look at it through the eyes of Jesus, I, there, there is this compassion uh, perspective that you bring. And what excites me and I think others as uh, we get more and more involved in seeing her leadership here is that you will bring so much of this to 100 Huntley Street. Uh, story, once again, yeah. you're used to it, and now you're going to do it again at a higher level. And I love the Huntley Street stories. I mean, what what is it that has kept this show going year after year, decade after yeah. decade, as North America's longest daily talk show, is these stories of how people connect to God. So I, um, I've i been hooked by them. <laughs> and I'm just honored to come and, and be a part of it. I am so thrilled uh, that you're here. Um, 
your, true, your, your commitment to biblical fidelity, your commitment to the uniqueness of Jesus Christ to transform lives, uh, your uniqueness, um, if you will, to, to, to make sure you care for people. You, you care about the folks that work here and have worked for you through the years. And one of the things I was able to do while I've been gone these many years is go to school. Yeah. And so when you talk about um, you know, biblical fidelity, so really understanding and learning what is the centuries of tradition and the centuries of God's presence on this globe. You know, every generation has thought, oh my goodness, the world is ending and this is terrible. And God's faithfulness, God's truth, God's people, God's, God's ways of goodness have always been there, reaching out, rescuing for people. Oh, a, a couple years ago, uh, when I was in leadership here, I called you and we had a situation in Ottawa that shook the nation. Uh, of, a, of a killing, it seemed to be a terrorist mm -hmm. act, and, and we, 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 we called you and you very quickly assembled a team of people together and we had one of our highest rated primetime shows at that time with what you did and I'm grateful for you responding to that call and helping us and I think that's a dimension that you can bring, that you will bring to 100 Huntley Street and I, I, I think it's so exciting to think that you're going to have the ability to navigate this program as the pulse of the nation or the pulse of the world is beating. Yes, but you know, I, I'm navigating from a different chair. I'm yeah. navigating from a CEO role, which you, I've got big shoes to fill, John, because you've just left the kind. CEO role. You're very kind. And you, I, I, I guess, I think it's the power of the local church is pulling you back. Sure, and that and family, family issues. I had family issues with my father passing, my mother experiencing dementia. My, my sister, my only sibling, having uh, um, her kidneys not functioning, and then I, then I became a grandfather all in about a three-year period while I was operating here, so life changed very quickly for me. So that's why I, I had to make some important changes, and the Lord gave me a local church context, and plus I could still help Huntley in the U.S. And so it's just, you just probably summarized what every viewer at home is wrestling with. you got a call in your life, mm -hmm. but the call includes all this fragility that you know you don't know what's going to happen in your family you don't know what's going to happen in your employment and so walking out the faithfulness of God the goodness of God I right. love it I love it what it says in the Psalms about the ways of God are loving kindness and it's my passion that everything we do here at Huntley Street just releases the loving kindness of God onto our, our common paths. And as CEO, you hit the ground running. Let me tell you, she's here like a day uh, as, as in her first day in office, and because of obligations and the demand on that office of CEO, she has to fly out to the Calgary Stampede, and Rob Melnichuk, our team members out there, welcome them, take a look at this. There, there we are. We uh, there's the Stampede, and with this know, is the pancake downtown breakfast. Downtown Calgary is amazing. And that's Yes TV. That, yeah, yeah. We, Yes TV had its own chuck wagon <laughs> in the chuck wagon race, but everybody lines up. There you and are. You better feet downtown Calgary. Look at you. And that's you. free, and they um, they get like a fistful of bacon. They don't just get a little strip of bacon, and then these these I call them the pancake Santa Clauses come out at the end. If you can't keep up with frying like Rob Melnichuk yeah. is doing they make sure that at the <laughs> end at 10 30 when the pancake breakfast shuts down yeah, yeah there's I guess is that you that, and Melissa that's in Melissa McEachern our executive <laughs> producer and, and we had yes. and that's Helen She's who runs team. Calgary yeah. downtown yeah. and and then we went off to the chuck wagon and here was a time for me just to listen to crossroads yeah. donors yeah. Great and people walk the barns and of course I had to ask the questions about the controversy about the animals mm -hmm. and hear right. from this is like a chuck wagon driver here right. and hear that the animals love racing, they love performing, they love doing the great, the great work of the greatest show on earth. It, it rained like almost every day at the Stampede this year though. But we've got a booming thing happening in Alberta. That's right. So great it was TV. fun for me to spend a couple of days learning Alberta, oh. Calgary, Edmonton's Yes TV role. And then you just get further out to BC, you know, the great friends, the ministry there, and then across we the prairies. We are coast to coast. And Atlanta, it's Canada. Coast and, to coast and, to coast. And you know the, the power of the prayer lines. I know that's one of the things that draws you here. <laughs> yeah. Every day, about 1,000, 1,200 phone calls a day. And that to think that this country country so needs a connection yeah. and it knows 100 Huntley Street can be trusted and so those workers and those volunteers who pick up the phone and say how can I pray for you what an honor to get to lead in that environment I'm just excited about it I'm proud of you and for you you are the perfect choice from so <laughs> well, many we'll, people opinions, we'll see. including mine for this role Thank and you. can I challenge you please to pray for her favor pray for God's favor in Lorna's life pray for her leadership 
pray that the power of God would be seen in decisions she makes and she makes and what do you say all of us be committed to her success as the leader of the of the largest faith-based most influential faith-based broadcasting entity in this nation what a privilege history being made and we are so thrilled for you thank you john 